got a bit of a different video for you guys today um we have a tin a rainbow dragon tin we'll go over that here in a bit but i ended up getting a big order in of uh, slabs that i have and it's actually going to complete my slab section here so i've been kind of filling it up here and then here and i just need this space here by the way this is my new deck here um so i just wanted to show you guys briefly what i got uh they gave us a little pack here so monsters revenge see if we can pull something oh, i should have put my ipad in a soul synchro nice i think it's like a three five dollar card i have a couple of these already uh, and then here we have Curse of Darkness, First Edition, Invasion of Chaos, a rare. Nice. Okay, let's see what our first slab is here. Ooh, a Polymerization, LOB, reprints in a nine. Nice. Then we have Emergency Teleporter, Collector's Rare, First Edition from uh, the Grand Creators in a ten. Nice. Here we have Dust Tornado, Gem Mint 10, Feral Servant reprint. <clears throat> Backup Soldier, Gem Mint 10, Feral Servant reprint. Actually, there's a couple in here that are new too. Uh, okay, these four right here. So we'll do these two, because I didn't get to show these off. <clears throat> We have a 2002 BPT Lord of D Near Mint 7. Pretty nice old school card. Then we have a Archfiend Black Skull Dragon in the Ultimate Rare uh, from um, uh, Core Rebellion or something. Uh, Near Mint Mint 8. I have the regular Ultra, this one, but the Ultimate is pretty nice. Then, oh, I know some of you know what that means. Uh, then we have this Collector's Wear Anti-Spell Fragrance from Tactical Masters 8.5. That looks cool. I like when the foil's like in the eyes all crazy like that, like an Exodia one. Um, this yellow thing means it's a pristine card, meaning a perfect 10. And that is this Wake Up Your E-Hero. Elemental Hero, uh, Quarter Century, Duelist Box, Pristine 10, which I I thought it was a little OC left to right, but I could be wrong. But regardless, it's my first Pristine 10. Very happy. So then to finish up these here. Oh, we still have the 10. Damn. Another CGC Slap, Axe of Despair. 7.5 i don't need i don't even have a regular axe of despair so i was looking for one and it just so happens to be a slab retro pack to go with my other retro pack cards oh what's in here more cards let's see i don't want to spoil it just yet i don't even know what it is all right let's see oh the trio of the duelist kingdom is three of them and then we have, ooh, a delinquent duo, spell ruler, nice. And then the last lab here before the 10, we have a Fenrir, Mint 9, Invasion of Chaos, first edition. Cheaper slabs, but I got them for cheap. What I really want to open and is excited for is because we have a first of its kind in my collection. Um, we have this 10, and inside this 10, we have just menu. Let's see what we have. Hope I don't spoil it. Let's see. Right, let's go this way. Cool. We have more slabs. So one, two, three. Oh, let's give me a second. Oh, and there's a card in here. Let's see. Ooh, Red Ice Dragoon. Nice. We have this in here. 
we'll save this for the bottom because it's the better stuff I accidentally saw. Uh, first up, we have this card. It was like two bucks. I'm like, how do you not buy a slab for two bucks, right? So there's that one. We have this 2001 Premium Pack 5 Harpies Feather Duster, ultra rare. And this went for cheap. I was like, this has to be worth something, but just having an old school Japanese card is cool. We have another one, a 2000 Magician of Faith in a Mint 7. Kate Guardian. To, uh, 2024 oh this is the uh tokyo dome premium pack uh, the one i opened here uh, and this one's in the mint nine so there's three left and the the last two are the big boy ones oh this one's nice too a premium gold uh dude i i love the gold and the secret is my i think is my favorite especially it being a wing dragon or raw too bad it's not like a nine or a ten uh, then we have, I hate how these slabs are scratched. This Dark Paladin First Edition from MFC Magician's Force from 2003. It only got a, well, obviously I knew it had a two. But I'm thinking maybe this might be my first, uh, in my first box to submission. All those corners are pretty bad. I don't think, I think it should be higher than a two. I see the two corners here, but the rest looks okay. So I might crack this one, uh, record that obviously, cause it'd be my first time cracking a slab and then um, resubmitting. So this card here, I've been looking for this card for a long time. I do not have one at all in my box of cards over here. Like, I don't have one or in here. Um, it's the first one in my collection, and I'm so glad I was able to get it in a slab um, and a good deal. It is this Injection Fairy Lily Legacy of Darkness First Edition Mint 9. Really happy with this pickup. I got it at, like way bef way lower than like last listings on ebay by like 40 bucks 50 bucks super happy with it this one i'm gonna genuinely keep in my pc and hold on to it for a really long time so this one's not going anywhere glad the sleeve is uh or the slab is pretty clean I spoke too soon but uh yeah but anyways wanted to show you guys my uh my newest slabs and that's it. See you on the next one.